hello everyone and welcome back and here we are so what we are going to do is in coming a uh, couple of videos not couple of videos but like uh, 10 to 12 videos we are going to cover some full stack applications which will include okay introducing the type tailwind and using type typescript with react typescript with the psx i mean without react and then we will write some full stack apps so here we will introduce uh, typescript and also the test cases so i am already covering two playlists like uh, typescript with react and typescript react with test cases right so all these things will be covered and also like these are the front end apps so i want to introduce uh, how we can use the tailwind for our front end projects like right? and i really like it once i see this okay this is another library which can help you to build the ui then i tape down and see okay this can be helpful for quickly building the the ui components right and then here we are we are doing the setup of tailwind with the create react app and here i see that there, there are some steps which we are going to perform but i see that there is a some version conflict of this auto prefixer uh, so what we are going to do is uh, first we will follow these things and then we will run our project and we will see how you can configure tailwind with your react app okay even if you just go through these instructions that would be more than enough but there are few things which we need to make sure that we have those in our projects okay so in the last video we talked about react typescript setup similarly you can do create react app that is very easy how we do is create react app just do a create react app and app name it will help you to set up the basic application and on top of that we can install all these things okay so now we have create react app okay the only thing is here you need to focus on the versions okay you should be using the latest node.js version uh, 14.x and you can you will be installing the tailwind and this post css7 okay because there is a compatibility issues with the post css8 react create react app doesn't support post css8 so you need to install post css7 with compatibility so you need to run this command so what command we have is we need to run that and then we will see so it's installing tailwind css for us here i will just show you because i have already executed all these commands but i'm going to show them again so npm install tailwind and you can see the, the css compact and this is what you need to install okay and we are going to use Krako. Krako, you might have heard about this earlier this is used to override the default configurations of create react app currently create react app we haven't ejected that means the configurations are not exposed but keeping the create react app you can use Krako to actually override the configuration so here you need to install Krako same thing npm install krako and we just change the uh, react script start build and uh, test commands to with the krako that's it and then you need to write a krako config where you have to specify tailwind css and auto prefixer because we have added these two plugins for uh, the compiling the css right and then you need to just create a tailwind config.js file in your root of your project so I have this project tailwind config.css as a root of my project and here I need to use mode GIT because initially when you experience with the uh, what you experience will be okay tailwind is slow when you try to debug or when you try to inspect the particular HTML DOM try to change the CSS it doesn't reflect it is slow you won't be able to debug it because tailwind is actually dumping a lot of uh, big file right so you can actually use a git mode that will put only the required files onto you onto the final bundle for your web app okay like this here you can see i have applied the tailwind styles all are these are tailwind styles and what you need to do is so tailwind configurations is going to drive most of the thing in your application so we are using git mode we are using we are going to use theme configurations in theme you can provide your colors you can provide your custom heights and all all the variants and all the plugins so we will also see what we are going to configure inside tailwind config.js because this is the master configuration and other than that you have a cracker config 
so don't i mean i will i will suggest you just use this official documentation because otherwise you will end up having okay post css is not compatible with the create react app and all these things you will end up having just uh, just execute the proper commands if you just follow these commands then everything would be fine then you need to just purge purge an option with the path because uh, so what the purge is doing it is actually avoiding all these unused styles for production build and then you need to create index.css in your project here i have added all the tailwind configurations tailwind styles and then you can just import that into your root of the file index dot js this is how you can add the tailwind so here what we are adding the base styles the component styles and utility styles and here we have added them and then you can choose to npm run start and we can just do npm run start okay here i have my project now we will see like uh, this may be your first experience with the tailwind but how it works what are the styles we are using because it supports all different kind of things like you can use css grid you can use flexbox and all the classes are related once you see them you will understand it okay bgpc green i have defined some colors in my tailwind configuration and my color names are like here you can see these are the breakpoint screens small medium large and excel and then i have a colors in the theme configuration this can be a dark this can be a green this can be orange what if i wanted to change the background color orange so i can just do bcpc orange yes it has converted the background to the orange and now it's a container right container grid am auto margin auto if you just do this then it is a con container but without margin auto then there are the padding padding 8 margin 8 which is like a uh, 2 rem here you can increase the padding and margin to 12 right and here you can see md flex so i'm talking about this particular image and what it is saying is md rounded none right uh, so it is saying is in the medium screen i'll just put the rounded only so it is going to be rounded on all the screen okay and width and height i have set width is 48 and height is 48 which is like 12 rem and then this is the text now text color you can just put a text center text left if i just remove this you can also apply the the custom styles based on the responsiveness okay i want this to look center only on the medium screen right you can see the medium here i have added the padding 8 only for the medium screen and text center you can also do it okay on the medium screen only i need a text center right but i need a text center for so md text left there is already a text left is applied that means on the medium screen text should be left okay otherwise text will be center so if you go to the small screens uh let's say this uh this one exactly something bigger i mean it's not a proper responsive just a simple example we are covering you can see text is centered right and this screen is not proper because it's just a first example here you can also do that i want to add this padding and margin all on the medium screen okay this is good now we can try to make it responsive here also we can see okay i want to give this padding uh padding 8 are uh, only in the screen we can still keep only some of the padding padding at least 4 that would be good enough and then the image image is currently is a width and height but we don't need it right what we need is we can keep this only in the medium screen but we can what we can say is okay my width should be enough uh, 12 or maybe 24 and height will be 24 and i'm good with that you can see my styles applied automatically so on the medium screen it will be 48 but on the uh, the default screen when the responsiveness is not applied it will be width 24 and height 24 but when it goes to the medium breakpoint it will apply 48 48 rounded full and now we got enough space 
to style this. Now you can see this is the flex. This is the flex container and it has a two things. One is image and another is this too. And you can see this text is looking little large. Okay, what is text large, right? So what we can say is just put the text large on the MD and by default keep text small. Uh, this is applied, yes, this is applied. So that is good. Here also we can say text color is still we, we can keep that same font medium and all and we can also add some margin padding you can see there are two columns right and this is our flex so we can actually do justify center justify justify content uh, around between right so what we can do is justify justify around let's say i'm not sure if this is the class justify center So this is our flex container. This is the first column. This is the second column, right? Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. MD flex, flex VC blue. This is not needed now. What I'm saying is, it's already like occupying uh, all the width and height. We can limit the width of this text content. What we can say is, uh, widths will be 48. So here we can play with the medium screen. You can see BZPC orange, this is container and all the styles are applied. Okay, now what I want is, this is my flex container and I have had two divs. I can just make it rounded only. Rounded looks better. Okay, now there is enough space between image and this content. Currently the content is taking the full space and it is text align left uh, with margin padding and all. What we can do is this is already spaced enough. Uh, font medium. So this looks better. We can just change the colors and all. And this is how it is going to work. So text large, font semi bold. So you can just put text small and all, whatever you want. Okay, and here we can also set uh, the color, I mean the text color, right? So you can add a style here like BZ, PC orange, right? So what it is doing is it is setting up the background color. Right, similarly you can actually configure one particular font style and just put the font name here. So you don't need to write the styles over and over again. Now what we are going to see is how these things are configured, right? We are setting up the container, we are setting up the height width and different breakpoint styles, right? So this is very easy. When I see this thing for the first time, okay, how it is going to configure and all, do I need to remember all these classes and all? So it's really doesn't matter much, right? But when you start seeing the classes, okay, this is very easy. Text large, text small, text, and then text color, right? Here, text color name, right? What I, what I will do is text PC orange, I can simply do is PC orange is already a color defined, right? So text PC orange. And now it is inside orange, inside orange. So instead of that, I will just change the color to something else. Text PC green, let's see. I'm just playing with this, okay? Now there is a green color. And you can also have the shades. Like inside green, you can have 100 to uh, I mean, you're, you can define your own color palette. Text PC blue. Is it looking blue or something like that? Maybe in the orange blue shades disappears. Okay. Now let's come to the Tailwind configurations, how we are doing all these things. Okay. I will just go through some utility workflows, like how we are doing all these things. Uh, so I will directly go to the responsive design like how we are doing it so inside responsive design we are using all these different breakpoints so it internally managing all these breakpoints for us we just need to define all these whatever breakpoints we need in the tailwind configuration smmd large excel to excel okay you don't need to worry about it so you can see here 
like empty flex so what it is saying is on the, in the medium screen it will apply the flex container and if these are the two dues right and it is the flex screen shrink zero will be applied for the medium screen and this is another container when you change it to another device another screen it can be something else okay so what it is saying so here we are saying is for the small the text will be left by default the text will be center right for all the other screen uh, which is 640 and wider that means if you are putting small as a breakpoint 640 then it will be left otherwise all it will be text center if you want to target a single breakpoint that means what you are doing is bg background green is the default background but for the medium it will be 500 for the big green like for the large it will be bg green okay and you can also customize the now it is all about tailwind configuration how you can customize and all uh, i will just talk about git mode because we are using git mode just to compress the styling it is lightning and the fast build what we are doing here inside a git inside the tailwind configurations we are providing git mode right to enable just in time mode just to provide a git mode and we also need to purge these particular paths okay uh, and uh, new features and all these things like uh, there are a lot of configurations which you can just pass uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. built an important modifier you can actually say okay override this with the font medium so font medium will be applied every time and if you wanted to just customize the styling based on the behavior like hover active and all that also you can configure and this is our flex container inside this flex we have image and we have the style okay so what we, we are saying is this flex is applied only for the medium screen md flex what does that mean is apply flex only for the medium screen and rest all it is just like this will be the image with the margin auto okay so it will be just centralized and then we have the text so you can see here is the margin auto rounded full and then there is a text with the padding top 6 and uh, margin mdp8 and then space vertical space y4 and then there is a text let's first see the medium screens okay okay let's try to customize this a little bit now what we are saying is this is just the same example with just more classes and all so this is the flex container you can see md flex background is gray i think i don't have the background gray so it just put default gray rounded excel and medium padding is zero okay so we can add some padding and we can add the container because this is md flex and i didn't like because this is covering the whole screen I can add a container and MX auto that should add the margin auto and now it is centralized okay and also we can just do this rounded let's see when I add the rounded it gets the rounded borders this is pretty much these are rounded borders now let's put the color something else because this color is not that uh, visible md pc orange not a good color but just to play around okay yeah it has a rounded color or rounded borders and here we can see this image is not having rounded so we can just put rounded every time okay this didn't apply md rounded none because it is saying for the md there is no rounded but i want rounded screen yes now it is rounded you can see but it put rounded on all different corners but that is fine we'll see that later now this is the text center oh, this is getting clicked every time here you can see the text with height and all here we can play with the text center property 
here what it is seeing is md text left when i remove this x center will be applied right otherwise what we need is we still need md text left and here we can set the background also for this view so we can see is uh, bz pc blue uh, if that is a color defined that we just need to check if that is there in our configuration we can define all our custom configuration bz pc green is there fu blue is there let's add the green right now it has a green color text color we can just decide you can also add the text color uh, pc white and all so here i am saying is pc white and i can use bg pc white if it will reload it will reset my all settings and here i can say is text pc white so you can see whenever there is a background color but what i was doing is i was using bg and then the color name similarly there is a text text and the color name and this is how the colors are applied okay i just need to save it and i just need to reload this to apply all these colors because i changed the tailwind configuration so maybe i need to restart to apply this color so this is how it works now if you go to the mobile screen maybe a little bit smaller which is not md then what will happen okay go there to excel and make 800 percent you can see back because we put the background for this one also and uh, rounded is apply md rounded none this is little slow when you are changing the classes here so what we are going to do is i'm always going to make it rounded okay rounded mx auto so the rounded should be applied and then here i will just remove this orange and then here i did pc green just remove it to pc pc white okay this is rounded i mean the rounded you can see the borders are now round, round, rounded and the text is all good so this is how we can build the profile right if you can see the mx auto see this is the margin auto and it is centered with height you can also set the width height for a particular uh, screen like if you want width and height for md then you can just put md width and md for height and you can also put the default width and height like here you are saying is for the md width and height is 48 but default is 32 something like that so this is just an example and you can say like the showcase how it works now in some of my future examples we are going to use the tailwind only tailwind and we are going to explore we are going to write the header footer new bar body and everything with the tailwind styles okay thanks everyone